I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice. Tumbling down the rabbit hole. Hmm? I can see it in your eyes. You have the look of a man who accepts what he sees because he is expecting to wake up. There's a reason education sucks. It's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The big, the wealthy, that... The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. They're, they're, they're irrelevant. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the State Houses, the City Halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media, media news, all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. balls. All these public service announcements. Don't, don't drink bottled water. Don't, don't fill. We're the government. We love you so much. We care so much about your team. Just please drink it. Everything's going to be fine. Just trust us. We care so much about you. Take the vaccine. Oh, don't read all our government textbooks and policy reports that we want to poison you and sterilize you. Just believe us. We're so good. Oh, we just want to help you, please. Oh, oh my gosh, we love you. I mean, it's just so sick and evil. I mean, imagine that if somebody would have made a science fiction movie 50 years ago where they were putting poison in the water and had public service announcements about be sure and drink your fluoride water, give it to your children, it's good. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. You know something? They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your social security money they want your fucking retirement money they want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on wall street you know something they'll get it they'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place it's a big club and you ain't in it you and i are not in the big club by the way it's the same big club they used to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe all day long beating you over the head in their media telling you what to believe what to think and what to buy the table is tilted folks the game is rigged and nobody seems to notice nobody seems to care good honest hard-working people white collar blue collar doesn't matter what color shirt you have on good honest hard-working people continue these are people of modest means continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them they don't give a fuck about you they don't give a fuck about you they don't care about you at all at all at all at all the world is like a ride at an amusement park and when you choose to go on it you think it's real because that's how powerful our minds are and the ride goes up and down and round and round it has thrills and chills and it's very brightly colored and it's very loud and it's fun for a while some people have been on the ride for a long time, and they begin to question, is this real, or is this just a ride? And other people, other people have remembered, and they come back to us, and they say, hey, don't worry, don't, don't be afraid, worry, ever, because, 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 this is just a ride, just a ride. and we, 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 kill those people. <laughs> Shut him up. We have a lot invested in this ride. Shut him up.
Look at my furrows of worry. Look at my big bank account and my family. This has to be just a ride. But we always kill those good guys who try and tell us that. You ever notice that? And let the demons run them off. But it doesn't matter because it's just a ride. Just a ride. Just a ride. Just a ride. Just a ride.